Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back at it again with Primordial uh, out of Rage of the Abyss. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to destroy the Evolution Boo Boo saying off that like and subscribe button. I'm having to deal with all of these ads on YGO Organization. I do apologize for that. Ready for Duel had some translations, but they were a bit rough. Um, so YGO Organization has some better ones here. And please be sure to like the video because it's after midnight. I was just getting ready to go to bed and then I saw that these translation drops. So anyway, unearth the power of Primordial. Uh, it says Infinite Forbidden, but we already know it's an Infinite Forbidden. This is supposed to be Rage of the Abyss. Um, so yeah, don't let that um, confuse you. This is Rage of the Abyss. So for those of you who don't know, Rage of the Abyss is our next, next core set, meaning it's the next core set after Infinite Forbidden. I know, that's a lot to keep track of. It's very confusing. Um, but Rage of the Abyss we are getting in, I believe, October. Um, so we aren't getting these cards for a while. I'll be 28 years old because my birthday's in October by the time we get these freaking things. But they're actually really good, and honestly, once we start going through the effects, you'll see why the first thing I thought of was Ojama support. But anyway, this here is Imperial Dragon, the Primordial Dragon. Level 6 Earth Dragon Effect Monster, 2600 attack, 0 defense. Requires 1 normal monster tribute to normal summon, so you have to tribute a normal monster in order to normal summon it. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can reveal this card in your hand immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon 1 Primordial Monster. If this card's tribute summoned, you can apply these effects in sequence. Negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls. That seems busted. Banish all monsters your opponent controls with the same type and or attribute as any of the normal monsters in your graveyard. So, do you see now why I'm thinking, like, this is kind of in a way Ojama support? Because I would argue, outside of maybe Moki Moki, even though that's kind of more of a joke than anything else, um, the Ojamas are kind of like the most supported vanilla archetype. Now, keep in mind, this is separate from, like, Sword Soul stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because with, with uh, I almost said with ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it goes to show how tired I am, with, um, Sword Soul stuff and the Worm stuff, they specifically say a non-effect monster. So, if you control a Link monster with no effect, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe that counts as it being a normal monster. It is still a Link monster. Technically, normal monsters are, like, literally vanillas, like Caboozles, if you played in Rescue Rabbit format back in the day, or, uh, Sabersaurus, you know, whatever, right? Um, so keep that in mind with this, which is why I, I think that this stuff actually kind of works well with Ojamas. You're going to see more why um, in a moment. This here is Primordial Imperialode. It's a continuous spell. I wish it was a field spell. You can only use the first and third effects of this card's name each once per turn. When this card resolves, add one Primordial card from your deck to your hand except Imperialode. Normal monsters and Primordial monsters you control gain 300 attack for each normal monster in your grave with different names. Again, do you see why this goes good with Ojama? Ojama Green, Black, and Yellow. That's an extra 900 attack for all of your normals and primordials with different names. Or, uh, excuse me, for all your monsters on the field, but it's 300 for each normal monster in your grave with different names. So one of each Ojama, it's 900 extra attack. That's pretty good. You can declare one normal monster's name, special summon one normal monster with that name from your hand deck or grave. Also, you cannot activate special summon monster's effects for the rest of this turn. We now have an official way in the game to cheese out Beaver Warrior, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> but the card is pretty good. Next up here is a Primordial Tremors, quick play spell card. Pay 2,000 life points to declare one normal monster's name. Apply this effect, then if you control no monsters, you can special summon one normal monster with the declared name from your deck in defense mode. Once applied, your Primordial monsters and normal monsters with the declared name can't be destroyed by battle until the end of your opponent's turn. If your opponent normal summons a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one normal monster you control, or in your grave, banish one monster on the field with lower attack. Something I just thought of while reading this card, this is actually kind of indirectly Exodia support because the f the four limbs, besides the head obviously, are all normals. So you can pay 2,000, declare a piece of Exodia, and as long as you control no monsters, you can just cheese it out. Is that necessarily the best thing? Do I think that that's what's going to be played with the Exodia stuff, especially since they already have the Millennium cards? I don't think so, unless there's just something here I'm not immediately seeing. Um, but that is something to keep in mind, that you could technically play the Exodia Vanillas with this. 
Primordial Shiller, quick play spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Reveal one normal monster or primordial card in your hand except Shiller, then target one face-up card on the field. If you control a normal monster or a level 5 or higher primordial monster except a token, then you don't have to reveal a card in your hand. Negate its effects, and if you do, banish it. That seems pretty good. During your main phase, if you control a primordial monster, you can set this card from your grave. And the last one here we have is Primordial Opener, so Normal Trap. Declare one normal monster's name, apply this effect, then if you control no monsters, you can special summon a normal monster with the declared name from your deck or grave. Once applied, you take no battle damage from battles involving your normal monsters with the declared name and Primordial Monsters this turn. During your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your grave, target one normal monster you control or in your graveyard, take control of one monster your opponent controls with higher attack until the end phase. All the Ojamas have no attack. So you just get to take control of one of the opponent's monsters for free. And even if you're playing Ojama Country for whatever reason, the Ojamas would only have a thousand attack anyway. So that's still basically any monster you get to take from the opponent, depending on how their stats flip. But this is just the first wave of support, of course, because it's only five cards. Maybe there's more in Rage of the Abyss that they just haven't shown off yet. Or maybe we'll get more, I don't know, after Rage of the Abyss. But very interesting to see normal monster support, you know. Maybe we'll see Moki Moki become a thing. Like, maybe that's what we'll do. And you just, you pop one of your Moki Mokis and then Smackdown kicks in and all of them become 3,000. That would be really funny, especially with these Primordial Dragons. But, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I, I honestly, like, all jokes aside, I think that this is actually kind of like indirect Ojama support. Especially being able to summon from Decker Grave, being able to quickly get out the Ojama bodies, and then, I don't know, just like Delta Hurricane the shit out of them. Um, or you can just, like, I don't know, Oja magic, all of them to hand or something. I don't know. But this this stuff seems really interesting. Guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the next video.